Are you listening? Damn. Trash Talk. I'm TJ O'Connor. With me, as always, Damian the Wolverine Hill. And we're joined tonight by Felipe Martinez Donis, who's getting ready to compete next Friday evening, December 10th, LFA 120, Mystic Lake Casino. But first, we have to go through the sponsors of the show Valhalla Combat Sports Incorporated, Ink Shrinks Tattoo, James Clark Sports Psychology and Hypnosis Therapy, The Fighters, and My Mom. Felipe, thanks for joining us. How you doing today? Good. Pretty good. Can you guys hear that? Uh-oh. Yeah, a little bit, but not too bad. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you, TJ, for not messing up on the sponsors. Uh, <laughs> it was quick. Right. Yeah, but, no, uh, so, I don't know. You're coming off of a really dominant win. Um just a few months ago, actually, you know, uh, riding the momentum, um, right, uh, riding the momentum of that last performance. How do you feel going into this fight? Um, I feel, you know, I feel like it's gonna be a a, a tough tough match for me. But you know, uh, I feel confident. I I've been training my ass off, you know, so I don't. I don't have anything to worry about, I guess, but I feel pretty confident. The fight's going to be going down at 145. Tell me about what you know about your opponent and uh, what type of fight you expect. Um, I, I see that he's got a couple finishes on the ground, so I I think that you know, he's going to want to take it to the ground. Uh, obviously, he's not going to be a problem for me. I got, I got some uh, heavy dudes on... You know, on the trend with me on Ironworks, and uh, so I'm not not worried about it. If he wants to go to the ground, he'll get submitted, and if he wants to stand up, we'll bang, man. Oh yeah, hell oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and looking at your opponent, I did a little bit of research. They're identical professional records at this point, three and one, and very similar amateur careers. You know, very tough. You know, evenly matched as far as you know on paper goes. Going into this fight, however, you know, you're on a two-fight winning streak, like Damian mentioned, coming off a huge first-round finish in your last fight. Whereas looking at him, you know, he's coming off that first pro defeat. How, how do you think, you know, knowing that you've been in that situation before, knowing that he just tasted the first time, how do you think that coming into this fight mentally, you know, are you preparing for him to come out differently than his previous fights? Um, honestly, I'm, I'm anticipating me putting hands on him wherever the match goes <laughs> so, so you know what i don't care how his mentality is at this point i just know that mike tyson said it best man anyone has a plan until they fucking taste the first knuckles to the face yeah <laughs> that's, that's almost exactly the quote word for word Um, but it's like, I honestly, I love the fact that you said that your mentality going into this fight, just, you're not even worried about what he's thinking or what he is doing. Um, why don't you just, uh, tell myself and the fans, uh, what you have been doing specifically to prepare for this fight. If there's any changes that you've made or if there's anything different or, uh, or just what's been going on. Um, I've, I've been working a lot on my, on my cardio, um, I make that one mistake, man, and I'm not ever going to make it again because cardio is king, and, you know, if you don't have that cardio, anyone's going to make you look like a bitch, and you don't want to, and you don't want to go in the, in the cage and, you know, just take a defeat like that, but um, I'm going in there with a full tank, giving it, I'm ready to go 15, 25 minutes if that's what it takes to get this dude finished, you know, so. Man, hell yeah. Now, that, well, okay, so getting your cardio ready for a professional fight, um, the, I mean, I know what it's like, uh, TJ knows what it's like, there's a bunch of people that are going to be watching that probably have no idea what does it take to get your lungs ready for a 15 minute, 25 minute long fight? And uh, what have you been doing to stretch your lungs out? 
Uh, it takes consistency every day in the gym. Put those miles in, get those rounds in there, sparring, you know, uh, just hitting mitts, getting some rolls, wrestling. It's just, you know, you got to you gotta take everything into account, even what you take into your body, everything, you know. I've been taking my vitamins in every day, taking that fish oil, man. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's everything I've been doing, and you know, not taking, not taking a day off. Just, you know, I'll take a day off when the fight is done. But right now, I'm staying focused. Oh man. yeah, I love it. No, that's the big thing is talking about cardio for that long of a fight. You know, the average person they go, "Oh, I've been in a fight before." Think back how long that fight lasts, 30 seconds before it was broken up. You know what I mean? When you're fighting a guy for 15 minutes, it's a different ballgame. And going into this fight, obviously, very confident, can feel, you know, the, the work coming in, and that's paying off, you know, in the confidence going into the fight. What's the one thing you have to make sure that you do on Friday, December 10th, to make sure that you get your hand raised and you bring this home, you bring that victory home with you? Um, Honestly... <sighs> Uh, at this point, like I said, I just gotta, you know, make it, make it my fight. You know, I make it my own fight and piece everything together. The combinations, setups, you know, I just, I just gotta make sure that I'm on my game. You know, I know he's going to be in his game and I don't expect anything else, but you know, I'm going to worry about myself, uh, and what I've been working on. So, yeah. Oh yeah. Now, this is a this is always a tough question to even ask, but I know it's probably a tougher question to answer. But it's one that I feel is common anytime you're talking with a fighter. You have a fight right in front of you right now. A win, with you, I mean, uh, with with a win and a dominant win makes it really interesting when you look at your record and what it could mean for you with the opportunities that are presenting themselves for guys that are. Up, like right in your position, actually, you know. So, without looking past your opponent, what do you think a dominant win does for you and does for the future of your career? Um, if you are able to go out there and put on a really tough performance on the professional card on LFA 120 going down on Fight Pass next Friday, uh, December 10th. Um, I was talking to my coach and um. I was talking to my coach, Emmerman, and um, I told him, I said, man, I feel it so close, you know. It's like he's right there. Oh, yeah. It's like he's right there. And for me to take a day off right now when I can feel it, when I can see it mentally, it ain't going to happen, man. I've gotten this far working my ass off and I'm going to continue to do that just to reach what I've, you know, been working towards. Hell yeah, man. I love it. You ain't come this far just to come this far. And that's yeah. why on Friday, December 10th, you're going to see some beat down in the cave. Every time I step in a treadmill, it's like, I'm close to three miles. I'm like, ah, I'm going to get to three miles. I'm going to get to four miles because I haven't run this far just to get this yeah. far. I, I can't remember the exact quote, but you don't get to the to the first or to the top of the stairs without taking that first step and you're taking all the right steps and it seems like you're not going to stop. And I can't wait to see the journey and I can't wait to see how you perform in this next fight, especially riding the momentum, like I said before, of these last two very dominant wins. And I just want to thank you for that one, man, because you guys put me in a different mentality. I was <laughs> sitting I was sitting at a restaurant with my family gathered and I seen the video of uh, trash talk coming and I, and I watched it and you guys said something along the lines of, uh, you know, Felipe doesn't take any, any easy fights, but I think this fight is for, is in favor of Caleb Mirth. And I was feeling a little nervous, you know, that day, but that moment, the jitter stopped, the jitter stopped. And I was right here in my confidence that you guys put me way the hell up here, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> and I said, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remind everyone who the fuck I am. You know? And I walked in the cage and I felt it. And I said, this dude ain't going to touch me tonight. 
and bam. Man, and you certainly did it, dude. You certainly and, did. And that's the that's the kind of mentality I have going into this fight as well. Man. I oh, love yeah. I can feel it coming through the screen. I hope you can too, watching at home. I'm talking to you at home. You. <laughs> so make sure that you're there, Mystic Lake Ballroom, going down Friday, December 10th, LFA 120. And if for some weird reason you can't make it, find it on UFC Fight Pass because you don't want to miss this fight. Before we get to wrapping this up, though, Felipe, you know what we like to do. I want to give a, uh, you a platform thank any teammates, sponsors, anybody outside the gym that's been there for you. Breaking the fourth wall again. You're doing this tonight. It's your baby girl's birthday. Anybody you want to thank, we appreciate you for taking the time to yeah. talk to us. Um, first off, I just want to thank, you know, the people that have followed my journey throughout this whole, you know, it's been almost seven years already. Can't say it. Yeah. Can't say it easy, but it's been a long road. Um, my number one that's been with me this whole time, um, Dodge dealership here in Arcadia, uh, Riverview Lanes, um, uh, Latino Bar, um, the Lounge Barbershop, you know, you guys have put your faith in me and uh, keep believing in, in me and uh, I just want to do it for everyone, for my daughter, for my wife that, you know, she helps out with the kids when I'm training all the time. And for all my little kids that I've been training and everyone, man, that's just been pushing me, all my teammates, the gyms, you know, you guys for taking this time. Thank you so much. You know, you guys are the real MVPs. Oh, no, man. Thank you. We're nothing without the fighters and we're nothing without guys like you that are willing to do these interviews with us, dude. I, We appreciate your time more than you can, more than you ever know. Yeah. Oh, and I want to... Um, I want to thank my opponent as well because, you know, I wouldn't be in this position if it wasn't for him. So, Oh, man. Hell, yeah. I love that. That's with mad respect. You know, we've, fighters are no one unless we have someone to fight. So we're both – you both guys are giving each other an opportunity to go out there and perform their skills. I love the fact that you respect that, man. I, Yeah, if you guys, if you guys aren't sold on the fight already, you sold now. You better be. Tune in. D December 10th, I almost messed up. December 10th, live on UFC Fight Pass and live at the Mystic, Mystic Lake Casino, the Mystic Lake Ballroom. Be there or be a hoe. Like this video, subscribe to Trash Talk and Damien and TJ. And I already know now. <laughs>